everyone, my name is Katie Carson. I am the Duchess of Suds here at Royalty Soaps. I have been making soap for almost 10 years and this video marks the beginning of a new design collection. We are doing Sweet Tooth for the collection launching July 3rd at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, royaltysoaps.com. This theme includes all things sweet. Think cereal, cakes, cupcakes, uh, cheesecake, Oreos, anything that is delicious and yummy, candies, all that kind of good stuff. Basically, I just threw it into one big collection because my birthday is July 26th and I thought it would be fun to do kind of a birthday type collection with lots of sweet treats, a bean feast, if you will. Before we begin, if you are interested in purchasing any of the items in my background or that I am wearing today, like this super cute icing t-shirt or this little gummy bear headband or even the makeup that I'm wearing, I have started to list all of those things down in the description box below for easy, shopping. I'm really excited about this month. I think you guys are going to love it. You always love when I do sweets, desserts, and drink inspired soaps. And that's what literally the whole month is. It's going to be so much fun. So without further ado, let's make some soap. Okay, guys, let's dive right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in my lye water solution. And of course, I'm using the recipe listed down in the description box below. This is the recipe that I use in all of my videos unless otherwise stated. Now to blend it on high until just past emulsion. With that done, I'm gonna go ahead and pour off one of my accent colors here. Okay, I have teared that out. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my fragrance oil. This is strawberry cheesecake from Nature's Garden. It smells just like strawberry cheesecake. This is definitely a change from the sugared strawberry scent that we keep around here and use most of the time. This one has a bit of tartness to it, dare I say sourness. Now not sour in a bad way, but you know, cheesecake kind of has a, as my grandmother would say, a wang to it. <laughs> so, so it's strawberry without being overly sweet and some kind of cream notes in there. I don't know, kind of hard to explain, but it definitely does conjure up an image of a strawberry cheesecake. Now the color I'm adding here is Goldfinger from Mad Micah's and 24 Karat Gold from TK. B. This is gonna kind of look like our graham cracker cheesecake crust. I'll go ahead and blend that up. All right, and now I'm going to pour this first layer into our two brambleberry molds, just making sure I pour an even amount into both of the molds here. I'm just gonna be checking on the edge. All right, and we're gonna allow these to set up while we mix up our other colors. Okay, now we can go ahead and mix up the base. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Now I do expect this fragrance oil to discolor ever so slightly, so I'm adding in a little bit of white to hope that we end up with kind of a cheesecake color. So not too white, but also not too yellow. And then here I'm adding a little bit of trial by fire. Also with a little bit of titanium dioxide to kind of pink it up a little bit. And then in again with some trial by fire. Now I'm gonna blend them up. So we have a little bit of a lighter red and a little bit of a darker red. It's perfect. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pour these reds into the white, just all around in a circle like that. This one I think I'm gonna use um, my little spatula here just so that I'm not mixing it up too much. That pink is probably gonna be just fine, but sometimes the red can get a little streaky and end up looking like bacon. <laughs> Excellent, so now I can pour this into my two Brambleberry molds. Now even though these look nice and firm, I'm still gonna be very careful whenever I pour this next layer. Gently, gently, gently. And I'm gonna get that first bit in, stop and move to the next one. That way I know for sure both of the soaps are going to have a good bit of the color in there. And look how pretty that dappling is. Wow, stunning. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, now I know that's gonna look good. Let me tap these down, and then I'm gonna let them sit while I mix up the frosting. <laughs> I was gonna make a joke, but I just better not. I better not. Okay, so we're gonna put the topping on. I promise it won't look nearly as bad once it's actually on the soap. It just looks a little bit disturbing in the bag itself. <laughs> also, anyone getting some peppermint candy vibes? Yeah, me too. <laughs> So when I was looking up references of New York cheesecakes, it was always just showing like a cheesecake with graham cracker crust. And some of them had strawberries on top. Some of them had cherries on top. A couple of people even put like a blueberry sauce on top. And it just seemed like the thing itself was the cheesecake. Hold on, is this even marked over here? Barely, barely. I'm gonna have to be so careful. I can't hardly see anything. <laughs> So basically I was like, okay, I'll get the cheesecake scent and then we'll just do a red berry because that seemed to be the most common. I thought it'd be fun to put the cherries on the top because I feel like that might possibly be the most well-known design, maybe not. Okay, so for the final dollop, I'm gonna turn it here because I can feel myself piping on a crooked angle. So I'm gonna straighten her back up by putting this final dollop on super straight. Okay, that looks a pretty good. So now we can start putting on all of my embeds. So starting off, we're gonna do the Royalty Soap Signature Soap Gumball Embed. It looks like this, it's kind of, exactly the right size of like a cherry or something, which of course is the whole point. So I'm gonna put one in the middle of each one of these bars here. I think we are now getting away from the look of the <laughs> peppermint candy soap. Okay, so fun story. My parents got married on August 24th in 1991. So this will be their 30 year wedding anniversary. And whenever they got married, my mom had like a traditional bride's cake. And my dad, who doesn't like cake very much, had blueberry cheesecake. And this was during a time where that wasn't really done. Like you had bride's cake and groom's cake. And that's what you did. I was talking to my mom because I was like, so many people now, you know, weddings are so individualized. So it's like, pies, cake, some people don't even have that. They'll just do donuts or whatever. So, but back then my mom was like, uh, no. Everybody did a chocolate cake and a vanilla cake. And my dad was just not having it. He was like, this is my wedding <laughs> and I'll do what I want to. And he was like, I like blueberry cheesecake and that's what I'm gonna have. <laughs> Which if you know my dad <laughs> and most people watching this do not, <laughs> This is very in keeping with his character. He doesn't care anything about what anyone else is doing and not in a way that would be uh, rude or unkind. He just really does march to the beat of his own drum. He doesn't care about what's in or cool or fashionable. He just doesn't care. He just likes what he likes and he's like, listen, everyone likes cheesecake or the bride's cake, okay? So like, it, it's gonna be great. He's like, this is this is a personal preference and I prefer blueberries. <laughs> oh, this is going to look so good <gasps> with the finishing touch. That's right, we've got a special little finishing touch. And uh, you should stop right now. Don't go read the comments and just leave a comment with your guess of what you think I'm gonna put on top of this to pull the whole design together. I'd be really curious to see how many of you guys know my style enough to know what I'm about to do. I'll give you a hint. It's not glitter. I might add a little glitter on top, but that's not that's not the big the big finale move here. The last little cherry here. Okay, I'm gonna go get the secret fun thing on top. Now is your last chance to leave a guess. Okay, drum roll please. Did you guess a red melt and pour drizzle? Then you may or may not be correct. <laughs> Yay!
right. Would this be truly complete without this sauce on top? Because I'm thinking no. So I'm just going to drizzle this all the way down. It's actually not very much melt and pour at all. I just wanted to have something a little bit glossy, a little bit shiny to pull it all in together. I'm being really careful about where I'm pouring it. I'm trying not to get it on my molds here. And because I already put the red in the frosting bag, uh, this red color is, well, it's already incorporated to this design really good so I'm not having to add a whole bunch but you're still getting that kind of like cherry sauce effect that you would see on top of a cheesecake or a pie. Right last little bit there and now I will spritz it with rubbing alcohol and I'll bring you guys in for a close-up. Um, this looks flea flop and delicious. I could take a bite. I won't. I won't take a bite, but I sure could. I'm gonna come back and we will cut these bars, take a peek at that swirly inside, let you guys see all the glory after this quick commercial break and in 18 to 24 hours. Not of the video, just like my time. It'll be movie magic for you guys. <laughs> Okay guys, here is the saponified soap. And the embeds are looking a little sweaty. I don't have a dehumidifier in this room at the time. And that's definitely why, if you guys know anything about Texas right now, it's been raining for like 40 days and 40 nights, man. It, it, we're gonna need, we're gonna need an arc. So I'm just gonna spritz this real quick with rubbing alcohol. Once you see the little glycerin beads starting to form on your melt and pour, spritz it down and then put it in as arid a climate as you can get. All right, you ready for some, for some satisfying peeling? Oh yeah. Ooh, so clean. How about this side? Oh yeah, woohoo, so clean. Pop it right out, and there we go. Look how pretty it looks on the side, and I can already smell it from way far away, so you know it's gonna be a good scent. Okay, I have the soap here on Evangeline. She's had a bath recently. Thank goodness she was starting to be very dirty. I'm gonna line this up as best I can and press down. We're gonna pull one out of the middle and this is what it looks like on the inside. That tan color turned out really nice. The swirl of the red and the pink and the white looks super good. The drizzle looks good. The cherries on top look good. I, I'm definitely getting cheesecake vibes and I'm loving it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. So the question of the day is, do you prefer your cheesecake, if you like cheesecake at all, with nothing on it, like just a plain plain cheesecake or do you prefer a fruit drizzle on top like cherries, strawberries, blueberries? Is it better with fruit? Let me know down in the comments below. I definitely think so. Uh, I think it adds like a whole nother dimension to the cheesecake. I have to eat very, very small slivers of cheesecake because it's very rich for me and um, honestly, it, uh, it, it, it makes me a little bit, a little bit bloated. Also, I never went to the Cheesecake Factory very much. Um, that was a little too expensive for what my family could afford when I was growing up. When you have nine siblings, the Cheesecake Factory is definitely out of your everyday budget. So I, I have been once in my whole life, but people still are like, Katie, the cheesecake there is not even that good. <laughs> That's what I've heard. Do y'all think that the cheesecake there is like actually super, super good? Or is it better gotten at like a homemade mom and pop shop at a local bakery? That That's another question. It, it doesn't have to be the question of the day. I'm just curious, you're a, your personal cheesecake knowledge. I'm sure some of y'all are cheesecake experts out there. So let me know all your opinions. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below and turn on the notification bell so that you are alerted every time I post a new video. You can follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. That's where I post the most other than on YouTube, which is of course twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Once again, this collection launches on July 3rd at 3 p.m. Central. So if you wanna make sure that you get a bar, be sure to set an alarm in the meantime and mark it on your calendar. 
calendar. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today, like, I don't know, trying a cheesecake, going to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Maybe making a fun dessert with just cherry pie filling. There's a lot out there. There's one that's a, like a chocolate cake with cherry pie filling in it. It's so good. My mom's been making it for years. If I can find the recipe, I'll leave it for you down in the description box. I don't really care what you do. Just be sure you do something fun for yourself and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, bye for now. Meow.